and my very first crate of steel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Automation Empire. I'm your mind, and today, today we'll be making even more money because, as you see on the screen, I got one million uh, space dollars. I'm not exactly sure what currency we are using, so let's just assume that this is dollars, you know, just to keep this thing simple. Uh, so yeah, I've left the game to run in the background for quite some time. And as you see, I've expanded a little bit. So now we have the means, ladies and gentlemen, to actually make even more money and go a little bit crazy with the construction thing. So let me just quickly show you what exactly I did so far uh, between the, this episode and the last episode. So we got this thing last time, right? We've uh, started to refine some of the resources, which are actually worth a lot more, if you think about that. So I got one factory over here responsible for working with coal. Uh, the factory over here is as possible for working with iron. I did have a few of improvements over here, uh, which I think I'm gonna tell you later on what I did exactly here. Uh, just in case you, if you'll be playing this game on your own and you'll be like, what the fuck did he did? Huh? Huh? You'll see. So we got this thing here, as you can see. I got myself a bunch of robots. We got some uh, drone control over there. Now, keep in mind, I'm very unhappy with the layout because this was getting built on the fly, right? But now I got some basic. Uh, understanding of how the game works and I got access to some improvements that I hope I'll be able to put into motion today that actually will clean up this this mess because this right now okay this is a dumpster all right it's a dumpster yet not on fire but so it's gonna probably gonna be on fire but anyway back to the task at hand so this is the coal and iron facilities over there now on the opposite side uh, as you see I got one more uh, iron container over here along with some uh, crate production and ladies and gentlemen gold gold I could actually try to build myself the golden legion from uh, war for the overworld but you know there's not such a thing in this game sadly but I think the amount is actually quite similar so as you see there are tracks over there right for the for the mining cards now thinking okay so why you didn't just pull the road over there, for example. It's because of the, how the game works, okay? Because of the mechanics. There are, I cannot assign the robots to a specific loading site. I cannot assign robots to a specific area on the map. That means if they will see uh, something to do, let's say, in this facility, and then I will have a similar facility on the other side of the map, then the robots will try to fly back and forth between those two. So I had to put everything in one place. Okay, so this is why one of the reasons why this thing looks like a dumpster right now. I've actually tried to pull the track road over there and it simply didn't work. So I had to use the mining cards instead. So we got one convoy of mining cards, mining cards over here that goes over the oil field that I still cannot tap into. And they go into this little facility that I have over here. Now this facility is also responsible for making iron, right? It's for the refining iron, as you see. Uh, I got for uh, resource depot over here. So this is exactly the same thing as the other facility, exactly the same thing. So the only thing we are doing over here is refining more iron. And this cut over here is responsible for uh, delivering this iron to the uh, to the loading site. Now, this cut over here, however, is the cut that actually brings us gold. So I had to go over this thing, and next to this gigantic crater, I found some gold. Okay, so I've made a small facility, as you can see, nothing fancy. Nothing big. This is the newest one. And I think this is the one I'm the most happy with right now. Outside of it, that the tracks ends over here. Because if I would like to make a, uh, a loop, then I'll have to probably elevate this thing a little bit higher. And go through the first floor of this building and then go try to go around. So for now, this is just uh, something like this, right? So the cars go to the end of the track and then they go back to the, to the loading site. So as you see... We're loading a bunch of gold, and we go back, all the way through this chasm, or whatever this thing is gonna be, all the way to the loading site, right here. And this is where the gold gets dropped off. Now, this thing is a bit longer because, you know, uh, the cards need to be unloaded, right? So the first card unloads, it goes a bit forward, second card unloads, goes a bit forward, third card unloads, goes a bit forward, and so on and so forth. So, uh, all of them get unloaded, they go to the end of the track, and since... You, they cannot go any further, they go back and they return uh, to the refining facility over there. So that's more or less 
how this thing is at the moment working. And yes, I'm making a match of gold. <laughs> um, gold, I mean money. Tremendous amount of money, which I'm very happy with. And uh, now I got some research as you see over here. Actually, a bunch of research. So what we could try to do, ladies and gentlemen, because I needed to work a little bit in the background since I needed to have the proper requirements met in order to unlock new stuff. And I got new stuff. I got myself the combiner, which combines two different resources into a new resource. I got myself the clav train. I got myself the uh, crate gate for the clav train. And also I got myself a clav truck truck loader, which means I can put this thing over this loading thingy side for the truck and I won't need the robots anymore. So that's gonna be really, really fancy. But sadly, I unlocked this thing after I built all of that. Normally, I would get to this, right? Drag the road, let's say, to that facility and go with that thing, but that would never work. And if you can ask, yes, I cannot go through this thing with the road. Uh, I just can't. The game refuses to make you a bridge. See? It's just, you, you cannot build this thing. You can, I think you can drag, uh, you can drag, of course, manic cards, you can tr drag train tracks, but you cannot drag this thing for some unknown reason to me. So what do I want to do today is I want to modernize, hopefully, this thing, but I really want to get into steel production. Now, how do you make steel in this game? Obviously, you need to have refined coal and you need to have refined iron. You combine those two things together and you get yourself steel. Now, there is also this thing over here, not this thing, uh, this thing, combiner, right? So you have the recipes. So you can exactly check what exactly you need to do in order to get certain things. So for steel plates, as I said, we need coal, we need iron. For, let's say, gold fuel, which is the most expensive thing, uh, we need to have gold and we have coal. So we get uh, gold fuel from that thing. And the other things are getting from the farms and, you know, similar uh, layouts, I guess. So, for example, this thing requires gold and iron. Uh, oil requires just to be refined. Ash is from incomparable combinations, so if you're gonna fill the combination, you're gonna get this thing, which is not worth much. And ethanol is getting from oil and red grain. So, grain meal. Oh, would you look at that? I wonder how much this thing is worth. Grain meal, grain meal, grain meal. No idea. Oh, would you look at that? It's actually worth quite a lot. <laughs> That's good to know. But anyway, today I want to get into some steel production. Now, what I was thinking, because later on I want to remove that facility and change it with steel production, uh, is that I could try to make two facilities over here, right? And then try to combine them with one uh, card connection and make a gigantic loading, unloading facility over here for the trucks alone. I hope it's actually gonna work. I have no idea will it work, so yeah. Wish me luck, guys! It's construction time! So how exactly are we gonna do this thing? I got some coal over there, we got some iron over here, and we got a bunch of space over here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Because I really want to make this thing into one facility alone. Ooh, that's a good question how you gonna do this. Now the thing is I need to keep in mind also is that eventually I'll be have uh, I'll have access to water. Now water increases the output of the mining facilities, right? If you're gonna connect water to this thing, it's gonna increase uh, the extraction speed by 50%. By 50%, right? So that's one third. Assuming that the uh, normal speed is 100%, right? So, uh, capacity use. I don't know exactly what that thing is, but okay, let's assume that this is one third. So, having three mining rigs that are connected to water, that means I'm gonna have like one for free, one additional depot that I can. Uh, my through. So, I'm kind of thinking about combining those facilities. And by that, I mean that I could, I could maybe, I could try to make one big facility over here, then make one big facility over here just for defining the metals, right? And then we could try to make instead of this, or maybe over here, one gigantic facility just to get the distill done. And I think this is actually a really good idea. So what I need to do right now is we need to figure out what exactly and how big exactly this thing should be and how much space I need to leave. So let's assume that in the future I'll be able to build something here. And this is just for, you know, saving the space. So let's assume that this is gonna be safe space, okay? And then we can try to build some facilities over here. 
So, how big this thing actually needs to be? Hold on a second, how big is this thing? This is this big. Do I need this thing to be this big? Not exactly, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3... Uh, hold on a second, 3... 6... 9... Okay, so that's a bit too big. A little tiny bit too big. So if I'm gonna go, let's say... 7 on 7? Is that actually a good idea? So, hold on a second, it's gonna be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, maybe go 8 on 8, just in case. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do over here is gonna tr I'm gonna try to mirror the same facility I have in the gold refining factory. Alright, so, hold on a second, I need to take a... Ah, the movement of the camera is really slow. <laughs> I really wish there'll be some type of a minimap that you can just transfer around yourself really quick, but nah. That's not gonna happen. Okay, so this is how it works, right? So this is the input container that the gold is getting dropped off as such. Okay, then it gets split it into two separated lines. One over here, one over here. Okay, so this is for free resource deposits. For free. Alright. Yeah, you are barely... Okay, you have a bit of a gold, but this is basically at your limit. So if you're gonna give you water, then technically you should have a bigger output anyway. So that thing, this is for free resources. Something like this. Okay, I should be able to mimic this thing without much of a problem. So this is gonna be the container over here. I'm added I'm adding just a bit more space, you know, to well, just to make this thing look a bit more fancy. I didn't exactly need this thing, but you know, I want to create something fancy. So we go with this thing here. Now let's see how exactly I can go with this thing around. Alright, so this thing needs to go here, this thing needs to go here. Okay, that could be a bit of a problem. And by that I mean, I'm not exactly sure... Will I be able to pull it out the way I wanted to pull it out? Because I've added those fancy containers and this is exactly not fitting as I wish it would fit. Hmm. Okay, this is something I need to work on. This is definitely something we need to work on, unless... Try to make something like this. Hold on a second. If I'm gonna put this thing here and put this thing here. There we go. Yeah, this actually works. Awesome. <laughs> Not exactly the thing I wanted to achieve, but still working. Okay. So this thing goes here. Now one tube goes here, one tube goes here. Now from these tubes. Uh okay, you would be going this way. Like this? Yeah, this is actually a good way. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. So this thing goes here. Now, how are we gonna do this thing? Uh, hold on a second. I got three deposits, but I'm gonna have four, right? So I can make four refined thingies as well. So I'm gonna add something like this here. Okay, this should work. So now, we need to add ourselves... Hold on a second. Did I, did I screw up something? <laughs> no, that's a serious question. Did I screw up something? Uh, because later on, this thing needs to go... Uh, okay, this thing needs, uh, needs to go that way. I did screw it up. I didn't exactly mirror the thing I had in the gold facility, but I think this is also quite good. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, eventually I'm gonna probably get the same output anyway, but, you know. Okay, this thing goes here, this thing goes here, right? Uh, now connect the conveyor belts, like such. Okay, so this is the refined material, right? So this is the input thingy. And then from the small container, it gets split into those big containers around it. Then it gets dropped over there. Now, I need to figure out... Uh, I need to figure it out because we need to unload this thing. So technically speaking, we could try to do something like this here. And then we could try to do something like this here. Hmm, that's a good question. How are we gonna exactly do this thing? Ha! <laughs> this is gonna be one hell of a roller coaster. <laughs> what I have created. But anyway, it should work either way. The only thing is, I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna fit the crate container. I mean, maker. Ooh la. Okay, well, we're gonna see. So you need to suck in. Yeah, okay, you can suck this thing here. And you're gonna do the same thing here. Okay, 
So this is gonna be responsible for the sucking in materials. Then you have to put those things back, like such. Conveyor belt over here, conveyor belt over here, and then conveyor belts here. Okay, and they're gonna go back to the loading site. Because this is the thing, the, uh, the crate maker costs me money. But, you can create crates with this thing, put them on the conveyor belt uh, line, and if you have that conveyor belt line put in a loop, then you can basically turn off the crate maker, which, gonna, which is gonna save you money. And that's exactly the thing I'm trying to do over here. So, okay, I think I can make one here and then just do the simple splitty split. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, I believe. So depending on which side is gonna need empty containers, I can just adjust this thing. Something like this, right? Then you have to pull this thing here. Okay, there you go. And then finish the line like this. Brilliant. Okay, the only problem is that this, this does not stick. Okay, hold on a second. Let's do something like this. So you go from here. Here. Turn around. Then you turn around here. Like this. And then you, then you connect to this thing here. And then I have to do the same thing over here. So from here, here to the right. From this position to the left. From this position to the left again. And straight forward. Beautiful. Compact and beautiful. Right, connect this train tracks here. Please tell me I can do it. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm not gonna... Oh, barely. <laughs> Everything is planned, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is planned. Okay, so I've made a really compact facility right now. I have some, so now I have to repeat the same thing over here. Oh, god damn it. So a bit of a twinking here and there, and eventually I've managed to duplicate this thing. I'm gonna probably cut out this process because holy shit, this is so bloody annoying. Uh, okay, we got this thing here, and now we need to go towards the center. Wait, this one is further away, or... Wait, hold on, is this thing even connected? Of course it's not connected! <laughs> oh my god, what I have created. Okay, this is not even connected. Oh, whoops. Okay, mistakes have been made. Good thing I've double-checked. Hmm. 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 Okay, well, this is a bit of a, bit of a difficulty right now. I could just try to make something like this, I guess. Eh, this is not that bad. It's just gonna add a bit more of the fanciness in the factory. One here, one here. Oh, okay, uh, right, this is a bit too far away. Um, okay, Houston, we got a bit of a problem over here. This is not exactly working as intended. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, plan B, ladies and gentlemen, plan B. Okay, I take it back, plan B is actually not gonna work as well. Unless... No, I just did the same thing. Son of a bitch. Unless... Ah, shit. Too far away. Either too far away or too close. You can only extend this thing by one or by three. God damn it, man. Well, instead I got something like this. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> there you go, so the factories are built. So now we could actually try to maybe uh, connect them to the actual research deposits, right? So let's see. I got the train tracks of, I mean, the minecarts, tracks, whatever thing over there. So how exactly could try to do this thing? This is a serious question right now. <laughs> because I want everything to be aligned really nicely. And I think we, this should be possible. Yeah, okay, this should be aligned. Ah, shit. Oh, baby. No, it's not working. God damn it. Okay, so how about we gonna do it to the other side? How about this side? Will you work with me? Um. Okay, one of them, actually both of them can be on the smaller one. On the smaller connection, no need to extend this thing so, so, uh, to, so, so greatly. Now I know that this thing has its own container, but not a big fan of that. Okay, I actually prefer to have a separate container, and this thing's cost me like only what, ten thousand? That's not much. And I'm at least assured that I got a good supply, like a good buffer, as I said this thing last time. Uh, this is the same thing I got 
back in playing Factorio. I just like to have a buffer. Oh. Okay, the track needs to be straight. Huh. Okay, that's a bigger problem actually if you think about that. Right, back to plan A I guess. And we're gonna try to extend this thing on this side instead. So you're gonna go here. This may look like a little bit of a dumpster boy. And connect it. There you go. Hey, it doesn't look so half bad. Really clean. Actually could try to maybe make a track over here. Nah, it's okay. It's completely fine. So this thing goes inside. Now we have to do the same thing on that side. Uh, okay, so for now I just need to be connected to three coal deposits, okay? Just so we can balance this thing out nicely. And those three looks really perfect for me to use. So if I'm gonna build those things over here, I'm losing money in a really great uh, speed. And this starts to annoy me because I don't know what's happening over here. You still have a bunch of resources, so I should not be losing that much of a money. I understand I'm building, but I'm not building that much. Okay, so we are starting to get some refined iron over here. Well, uh, not exactly right now. I'm building the stockpile, but I need to keep some money uh, in my storage just so I can put the refiners, you know, because if you're gonna put, put the refiners, they're gonna cost you an upkeep. So I'm slowly and steadily removing those things. Once the containers will be empty, we're gonna remove those factories, but still there's a bunch of resources here. And we're getting a nice supply from those two facilities as well, so I should not go completely bankrupt But it's a good idea to keep an eye on that thing. Right, so we got this thing here Now I want to build I want to build a steel operation facility and I want to place two of them over here Yeah, probably two of them would be a nice idea indeed Do I want to have an outside storage just to keep this thing fancy? Doesn't sound like a bad idea if you ask me. But before I'm gonna do anything, we need to actually like, un unlock this thing. Okay, this thing needs to get unlocked. Why can't I unlock you? Oh, this thing cost me half a million of research. Oh, shit. Okay. So now I got a bit of a problem. <laughs> I don't have enough research points to actually unlock the thing I wanted to unlock in the first place. Oh, no. This is so bad. Okay, well... I don't think I'll be able to do this thing today, that's for sure. Oh man, god damn it. Okay, anyway, focus, focus, you know. you're supposed to focus. Ooh, look at this thing. Hell yeah, baby. Now this is where the things will get really interesting. But first things first, I need to connect this thing to the other facility. So you have to go across this chasm over here. You have to do the same thing on this side. Yo, work with me, game. Thank you. Okay, beautiful. Now, we need to have some flat space. I think this should be enough over here. So if I'm gonna do something like this, and something like this on the opposite side, just be sure that's gonna be aligned together. There we go. Okay, nice. Now, the question is, how are we gonna combine this thing together? Because now I need to put two resources in, combines together two resources, creating new resources in the process, takes in resources from the side ports, outputs, the final product uh, to the front port must be built in a factory. So technically speaking, I don't have to create crates, right? I don't have to make crates for this thing. Yeah, so you have one output, two input. Hmm, how we could actually try to make this thing? I'm trying to figure out something cool, something fancy, something really nice. Okay, if I'm gonna make this thing here, and then make the same thing on the opposite side... Okay, so this is gonna be the containers, right? So you're gonna have to suck in the materials, like such. Okay, then I'm gonna make you something like this here, just to add more fanciness to the entire facility. Normally you don't have to do this thing, but you know, I got the money, I farmed this money for a bloody good reason. I farmed it so I can actually build something cool and something impressive. So then you kind of have to uh, get the output, right? In the meantime, let's connect this thing to this facility here. Okay, one second, like this. Okay, you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go into this thing here. There you go. And then you have to do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so this is a loop. Ah, shit, I just unclicked it. This is a loop, right? So this is where the refined resources will be traveling around. 
Okay, have you... Wait, what? Why is this thing still empty? Oh, because... Okay, I think I see the reason. You have to grab things from here. Oh. Did you look at that? I fucked it up. Okay, I fixed it. It should be now uh, according... It should be now going according to plans, that's for sure. Okay, so we got this thing here, right? Hmm... How am I gonna do this thing? Okay, let's add two cards here and two cards here. Okay, they're gonna be responsible for bringing in the resources. Now, this is gonna be really expensive. It's gonna be really bloody as expensive, that's for sure. Hmm. Do you want to pull this thing in a bit further or not exactly? Hard to say right now. Because later on I have to also squeeze the same thing over here. Well, I could try to make the containers here and... Yeah, it should be fine, what I'm worried about. Another question is, how exactly big is this thing? Is this big? It's not that big. But I don't know what's the output. Okay, can I temporarily build it in any factory just to check it? Uh, some detailed information about this thing, let's see. Okay, doesn't... One per nine seconds. One per nine seconds, you say? Ooh, okay... That's something I need to keep in mind. So one per nine seconds. Right, okay, we got... We don't have iron anymore, so I'm kind of thinking about connecting that facility over there. Temporary, because we don't have to do anything with iron anymore. But then again... Nah, we should be fine. It should be fine either way. We got enough money to go a bit crazy with this thing. So let's try at the beginning with something like this. Okay. This thing is standing, right? So, will I be able to actually squeeze the... Oh shit, I won't... I don't think I'll be able to squeeze in the... Uh, the card connection, unless I'm gonna go... Up? No, that's also not gonna work, I think. Yeah, it's not gonna work. We have to actually move this thing a bit further away. I like the placement, I uh, just screw, screw up the distance. So destroy this. Okay, let's try one time. So two tiles away, one tile down. Two tiles away. Okay, and let's say... Uh, five, six, let's go on five. Let's go on five for now and see how this thing is gonna, gonna actually like, go. Right, so this is the thing. Now, the tracks, the cards, they will go inside here, more or less. So they need to make a turn. Okay, and after that, you will go all the way here. And then you're gonna go back. Something like this, right? So the same goes for this thing. Turn here, and more or less on this height, you will go back. Okay, so this is gonna be the input tracks, right? Now, I need to build this thing. Hmm. Okay, this is not exactly gonna work according to my plan, that's for sure. Unless I'm gonna go a bit crazy with the containers. I'm only assuming that having two is the proper amount, right? But then again, how the heck am I gonna get out of here? Okay, you cannot go with the big ones, that's for sure. Big ones is a no-no. can go with the small ones. Like this. Okay, so this is gonna be the input. Right, and then you have to need to have an output. Please tell me can connect. Shit, it's too far away. God damn it. The stupid ass tubes. It's only a size of three, only a size of one. What is the size two, I ask you? Hmm. 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 God damn it. And the final connection over here. Okay, so it took me a while, but I think I got this thing right. Okay, so it may be a bit of a confusion for you, so allow me to explain this thing quickly, because as I said, you know, constructing in this game actually... It's a bit tedious, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. And there is no music, so it's even... It's even more... Uh, damaging to your brain, I guess. And I just fucked up, didn't I? Oh my god... Of course, I make additional window. <laughs> Great! Sweet! Always wanted to have a fucking window on Mars. Oh wait! Okay, well, whatever. Let's try to work with whatever I can. So, this is gonna be the place where we're gonna be storing coal and iron, right? After that, this thing will get... Uh, put into additional cards. So we've got one track that's responsible for iron, the other track is responsible for coal, right? So they both go into the factory. Uh, allow me to connect this thing here, actually, before I'm gonna forget. Okay, so let's go with the with the one at the at the base first. So this is, let's assume, 
Uh, I think this is iron, right? So iron gets loaded over here. It goes with this truck into the factory. It, some of it gets dropped over here. Then it goes around. And, so, and the rest of it gets dropped over here, right? Then it goes outside uh, to the to the search area once again. Now coal, which is gonna be delivered here, it's like the same thing, right? So coal arrives over here, gets stored. Later on, another uh, cart appears here. He gets loaded. He goes inside of the factory over here, like such. Okay. He goes down here, drops some of his materials over here. Then the other one drops the materials over here, the remaining ones, and then he goes back outside, right? Like such. Okay. This thing makes the steel. And then stores over here in this big ass container. And I just noticed I won't have enough space to actually make a truck over here. Daddy, daddy, fuck my ass! Screw it, instead of having big ass container, we're gonna have several smaller ones, and it should be the same thing, I believe. Uh, okay, so this thing goes here, and it needs to get connected here. There you go, beautiful. Okay, later on, I'm gonna probably try to make another factory over here. So we'll just be using one card to collect all of the steels, all of the steel from both facilities. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know how this thing is actually gonna work. But anyway, we got that thing done. So now we need to have a gate. And the gate is had to be built, built here, and another one is had to be built over here. On the base level. Come on, don't screw up with me. There we go. Good. Okay, so we got that thing. Now, the cards will go outside, around. And they go into the loading area. Like this. Okay, so now we have to just get rid of this thing because this thing is completely not needed anymore. Delete you. Oh my god! Okay, what about this one? Okay, you still have a few coal inside, but basically I don't need you any longer. There we go. Okay, destroy this. Yeah, I'm gonna probably have to fix this thing later on as the game is gonna progress. Because as I said, we need more steel facilities around here as well. For now, I just wanted to establish one and see how this thing is actually gonna work. So, we can actually use this thing, right? Uh, hold on a second. Can I, Okay, I need to connect the electricity because we don't have power anymore. Okay, there we go. Now we have power. So this thing goes here. And the card will be going... Hmm. Okay, just notice a bit of a problem over here. Right. Okay, the factory, the next factory is gonna be next to it, right? Next to this thing. So if I'm gonna do... Okay, I have to go actually around, I believe. Yeah, probably going around is a better idea. But then again, later on... Okay, you know what? Screw it. This is not important. This is just work in progress. I can just delete this thing later on as the game is gonna progress. So I'm gonna go all the way over here. All the way over here. And you're gonna get unloaded here, I believe. So, unloaded. Okay, because of the fucking pool, seriously. Okay, work in progress, boys. Work in progress, all the time, work in progress. There you go. This thing goes here, delete the tracks. Add this thing here. Okay, now I have to connect back to the uh, to the factory. So, uh, okay, how is it gonna go this way? A bit of a mumbo jumbo. You go around. And I need to connect you here, I believe. Can I just... Of course not. That'll be too easy, okay? Change of plans. Let's do this thing instead. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Beautiful! I just hope that the steel won't get dizzy from all of this mumbo jumbo going back and forth. Okay, that thing is connected. Good. And all of this thing is connected as well. Expect for this. So allow me to adjust. There you go. Okay. It should be working. I think. Not sure. We're gonna find out very soon. So now, the only thing we need to do is basically build the crater. Crate maker. Make one over here. Make another one over here. Okay, and add... Hmm... Okay, first I have to... Uh, I need to get the crates on the production line. Or maybe... Ah, screw it, let's just go crazy. There we go. And the same thing goes over here. <laughs> I just hope I won't go bankrupt because this facility actually will start to bring me money. <laughs> there we go. First coal and iron delivery goes into this facility. Okay. Unload. Unload. Okay, now we get loaded into those things. And this thing gets delivered over here. So do I have the information how much this is gonna take? 
Hello! I need some info! Don't have any info yet! Okay, you got call. That's great. And you have nothing. That's also great. Yo, I need to have a bit more material, so now if you could be so kind. <laughs> Thank you in advice. Guys, come on, what the fuck, man? This is not progressing! I don't know why! Hmm, skip every first. Okay, maybe don't skip every first, because right now we are not getting any resources. There you go, so this thing now works. Oh my god, the noise! <laughs> What the fuck is this thing? Right, and you create one. Seriously? So it's from two resources, you're gonna create one resource? Oh, I thought it was gonna be two. Oh well. Okay, and this fancy steel now gets delivered to the loading site. And my very first crate of steel. My second crate of steel. My third crate of steel. I have some. Okay, I'm spending a lot of money, so, uh, guys, ch come on, chop chop. <laughs> we are not making any money right now. All right, steel is getting delivered over here. Actually, you know what? Uh, hold on a second, where is steel? Go for only steel and don't accept steel into those. I want to see how much steel is gonna make me money right now. Okay, four crates full of steel right now arriving at the loading site. Okay, and none of this thing gets transformed into this container. Right, so that means we should have a bunch of steel. Hold on a second, if I'm gonna turn it off so the robots won't pick up the resources. How many resources are we gonna have from four crates? From four wagons full of steel? Four, five... It's actually quite the amount, you know? Six, seven... Eight! Nice! One more? Nine. Hey, that's nice. Okay, set it to medium. Yo, really? Ten? <laughs> okay, this is a lot better than I have expected. Eleven? Twelve? What? Okay, that's actually really nice. I should be making a lot of money with this thing. And also this means I'll be using less robots, so I could technically try to destroy some of them and save even more money. Okay, here comes the steel truck, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how much money I'm gonna make out of it. Bye bye! Bring me money! Send me a postcard! Yay! <laughs> I'm really happy that that facility looks a lot better than this jump. <laughs> Junkyard. Okay, come on, go through. Don't be shy. Come on, here we go. And the money is. 16,000. Nice! Yo, I got shitloads of steel right now over here. <laughs> Okay, this is a lot better than I have expected. Okay, let's add five cards, maybe. Nice. Nice. Money, boys. We are making the money. Jackpot. So let's see, since after I have constructed the steel facility, let's see I am actually making money or I am losing money. This is the biggest problem right now. So, uh, okay, we are currently doing... I think this is the third month of... This quarter, I guess, I would assume, whatever thing. So I want to wait for the okay previous month revenue. No, no, no. I want to wait for the. I didn't make that much money. If you think about that, which is really terrifying. How much money I'm gonna make? Come on, come on, come on. Show me, show me, show me. Current month revenue, current month power and taxes. Okay, so this is the month or current month. I'm not exactly sure how the heck I'm supposed to read this thing. Current three month wave output. Okay, I guess. So let's assume for a second that this is end of the month, right? So how much uh, is gonna cost me to upkeep this entire facility and how much money I'm actually gonna make? Keep in mind that trucks, uh, some of the trucks are still stuck here because you know the robots they're just too stupid. Okay, I've made 17,000, if I understand this thing correctly. 17, 16,000, something like that. I think. Let's wait for this thing to get to the finish. Previous month. I only made around 10, 13,000. That's not exactly good. 
It's actually quite terrible. <laughs> God damn it. So good news, we got a lot of steel to export, but I think I could actually try to build more of those, uh, more of those combiners, you know, because there is a lot of resources in the containers right now, especially iron. So I think I could actually power, power up with this layout four combiners instead of three, because keep in mind later on, I want to have access to water, which is gonna increase the output of those things, right? So technically speak, but well then again, I think I'm limited to the amount I'm getting here. Hard to say exactly. Okay, this card is going in with resources. Yeah, right now we are not making any resources. Okay. But there's a big stockpile over here. I think I could try to have three or four combiners. At the same time. But that means I have to change the layout a little bit. I'll have to probably extend this thing and make it like iron container, combiner, uh, coal container, iron container, combiner. Right? Wait, did I mess up? Iron, combiner, uh, coal, combiner, iron, combiner, coal. Something like that. And that should give me. Three combiners working constantly around the clock and I should be able to export all of that thing later on using the new cloth trains yeah okay so this is gonna thing uh, I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna leave this game to run a little bit in the background and see I am actually making any money right if I'll be able to make money then next time we're gonna try to improve the loading size because this is a complete bloody ass mess right now it's not working even as half as I would like it to work so yeah, this is gonna be probably the thing we're gonna try to do during the next episode because I just noticed that I'm running out of record time. So for now, I'm gonna leave this thing as of yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next episode. Please, a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.